yeah. and it's also because brand is everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like, and it's hidden in small steps along the way from all kinds of businesses. So it's hard to pinpoint because it's an accumulation of so many things for email as well. Like uh, we, if we go for ROI or for ROAS, uh, the emails work in a very different way that if we're gonna build emails for a brand email or it's a, it's a little bit different. How so? To, for example, the, the abandoned car, the post purchase, like email flow. After somebody purchased your product, uh, if we're looking for high conversion, or ROI like positive at the moment, that's the best time to give them a discount because they already are invested, they're already hot, they're already happy, they already made the purchase, and that's the best moment for them to all oh, already purchase. Awesome. How about if we give you an extra, because this moment you purchase from us, it, this one works very well for you and let's give you an extra discount just because you bought now. If we have any moment to get them, that should be, a, you as a that's direct marketer, please correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> like, a, that's a That will be the best time to offer them a very Not heavy enough. discount so then they can buy again or because they're in a, they already have the credit card in the, in the line, they received the email, they're already happy, they're hot. That's the best time. Very different if we want to build them as a long-term customers. We will not ask them again to buy, but we will ask them to give us feedback to understand how was their customer experience and if they have if if they at any point they mm. doubt of uh, or anything didn't resonate with them it's a totally different ask right. after they give us money because imagine as a customer you get asked what you didn't like and then the brand corrects it and sends you a better product or it's like uh, I, I really like the product but i didn't like the the way it shipped or it spoke to customer support and i didn't like that and then we reach out to that customer and say hey here's a gift card for your next person i'm so sorry and the next time when they do buy and when they do care uh, contact the support, it's fixed. When we do a second version of the product with improvements and we send them the second version as a gift, just like, hey, I remember six months ago you said there's this issue with the product, we fixed it, here it is. Like now you create someone that will buy again and again and again. Like you don't have to ask them, you don't have to give them any discounts. Like they will buy from you again and again and they will tell all their friends about that experience. So that's much stronger, but it takes much longer too. Yeah. It's a very different right. way of building emails as mm. well. <laughs> right. As yeah. much as asking them for uh, feedback or customer or, or, or their customer experience or journey, like uh, when they bought the product or let's say after they bought the product, they receive it and we just let them use it for a week and we ask them for feedback. Like that's also something that will be very different to ask them if we're targeting for performance marketing or we're targeting for brand building. Same for card abandonment. So if there's card abandonment emails instead of saying, hey, you left something behind here to discount to buy it. You say, hey, you didn't buy, tell us why. And then you make a post purchase survey, a, a, a card abandonment survey, where you question like, so sorry to see you leave. What could we have done better to make you consider us? And yeah. then you get feedback from that and then you actually change that thing. For example, if on the card abandonment per, uh, survey, people say, I wasn't sure if you have this feature because I'm looking at all these other different brands. I'm not sure if you have the feature that they have. So then if you hear that over and over, then you make it more clear on the page that you have this feature or that you're made for them. Or they're like, oh, I really wanted to buy for, from you, but I'm not sure if I'm the right person. If like you're the right brand for me. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, who are you? And then you learn more about the customer and you make the brand look more like something that would attract your ideal customer. And then all of a sudden your conversion rate goes much higher. So instead mm -hmm. of cashing in that, hey, here's a discount because you didn't buy, now please buy, you're getting the long-term benefit of increasing everything that you do and targeting the better people. And that goes in your copy, that goes in your ad, that goes in your picture, that goes everywhere now when you talk to customers, you talk to them differently because now you know, stop buying because they have whatever, you know, objection. Thing, or whatever objection. And then you just use that objection in everything that you do and then you get so many more people to buy so okay. long again long term long term short term short that's term. the trade yeah. <laughs>